Children should be able to go to school without having their purity tarnished by propaganda being taught under the guise of curriculum. As you may imagine, it was a tense evening as hundreds of parents, teachers and students packed a school board meeting battling over books on race and gender identity. That debate lasted past midnight in Grapevine Colleyville ISD, also in nearby Keller ISD. The school board took on book bans. Uh, we're going to start with Grapevine Colleyville, where Ariel Placencia is live this morning. And Ariel, nearly 200 people signed up there to speak last night. Yeah, that's right, Sonia. And after each one of those people had spoken for about a minute each, the board voted. And as Mark just mentioned, that didn't happen until around midnight. Trustees voting four to three in favor of adopting that new policy that will, among many things, lay out restrictions for preferred pronouns and library books. And as with anything, of course, you have passionate people on both sides of this issue. So take a listen. The proposed policy to mandate teachers act as the pronoun and bathroom police will only introduce more distractions and unnecessary controversy in our classrooms. I believe it's a common sense approach to dealing with difficult issues that have polarized our country. The second agenda item. Now, among those who spoke, parents, students, and others who said they were reading statements on behalf of teachers who were afraid to speak out. There were multiple rooms for overflow at last night's meeting. It's how busy it was and also what you might call a tailgate in the parking lot to preemptively celebrate the passage of this policy. Those in favor of the board's new policy said it helps clear up ambiguity. Meanwhile, those fighting the new rules pointed to the politics at play and raised issues about transparency. Many were upset there was no community discussion or input on that policy, a fact that the superintendent later confirmed. Now, one last note, you may remember that GCISD recently announced that there are going to be no scholastic book fairs this year. They're currently looking for a new a book vendor. And that's because GCISD told me that Scholastic could not guarantee that they could give them a list of all the book titles that would be available at those fairs at least 14 days in advance, Mark and Sonia. Boy, some uh, big news. Thank you for the update, Ariel.